Zanzana. Hi everybody, welcome to Zanzana Metal Interview. I have uh, with me uh, Mr. Marco Pastorino. Hi Marco. Hello, hello, ciao Karim. How are you? Um, Everything is fine? Uh, yeah, fine, thank you. So, okay. temperance, temperance, actuality, uh, this Diamanti uh, new album. Yes. New album uh, is uh, due on uh, November uh, 19th uh, via Napalm Records. Uh, and uh, there's a new video clip for um, people that didn't saw it yet. You didn't saw pure life and false. <laughs> Marco, a uh, lot of um, lot of album uh, now for uh, for Temperance, you know, because uh, uh, okay, uh, Diamante with due now on uh, November, but uh, also uh, there was uh, an album, this one, uh, Melodies of Green and Blue, in the beginning of the year, Virgin last year, and uh, we just remember of Jupiter and Moons uh, on uh, 19, uh, on 2018, uh, Masquerade live uh, in uh, 2017, The Earth Embraces All in uh, 1916, uh, Limitless in uh, uh, 2015, and Temperance, first album in uh, 2014. So, um, Lots of actuality uh, for uh, temperance. Okay. So um, now, uh, of course, as you as you said before, we are going to release our new album. Yeah. And um, I think, and in the middle of October, uh, the second single will be out. And okay. in the middle of November, a few days before the release of the Amanti album, there will be the the last single of the album. We are very satisfied about this album. Uh, as you can imagine, after after more than one year, um, due the COVID stuff, we didn't do a lot of a lot of stuff, of course. But we we tried to to write uh, the best Temperance album so far. And yeah. uh, honestly, I think we did it. Uh, it's my favorite one. It's my favorite album. Um, there are. A lot of differences from this one uh, and the, the the old albums. It's more symphonic, in my opinion, and uh, of course we have a lot of uh, vocal harmonies, uh, some stuff like that, but a lot of symphonic stuff. And uh, so let's see. It seems like the the first single uh, uh, is really appreciated from uh, a lot of people and uh, the Temperance fans. Have you heard yeah. the single? Yeah, of course, I heard the single. You said that this album is your best album ever. Um, what is it? What what um, what be the, the difference? Um, more time to uh, to write music. Uh, more time to uh, to think about uh, music. Maybe more time to think about the music because I spend only <laughs> honestly only one month to write this album during the during the pandemic during the the first lockdown. Um, so back then, no one know the, uh, what could be happening in the future but also also right now but back then one year ago it was very very strange and uh, i spent um, the entire days just to write some material try to sing some stuff uh, and did something different than before the differences between diamante and the previous albums probably is about uh, uh, the melodies because now is more in some some tracks is more oriented pop uh, but of course we have some big metal anthems again mm. so the first single is uh is in between pop pop and metal music but the second single uh, it will be the heaviest track of the album 
Uh, also because the, the title is uh, Breaking the Rules of Heavy Metal. Yeah, you said pop, but uh, not pop enough to uh, go with it in uh, Festival de Sarre. No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of course. I mean, pop, pop for me is a good thing because uh, when I said pop, uh, uh, I mean commercial or a little bit not cheesy, but um, good, very musically. Yeah. Okay. You, you know what I mean. It's not pop, of course. It's not for Sanremo. <laughs> It's too much for Sanremo, I think. <laughs> And um, what, what, make you, what made Temperance go into that direction? Um, listening to your music or uh, listening to, to fans? Uh, reflection between the members? Mm, depends, because uh, usually... I wrote 90% of the music uh, of Temperance. Yeah. Of course, after that, uh, um, for this album was was not possible, but for the previous albums, um, we did some rehearsal all together just to create uh, the good mood for the song. Also, different arrangements for the drums, for the bass, also for the for the vocal harmonies. Usually, we spend one week together. Uh, Michele, Alessia and me, just to figure out uh, the best way to, to record the vocals and stuff like that. But of course, uh, it depends also by the, um, the type of music we are listening. For example, now I'm listening a lot of orchestral stuff, uh, but also a lot of rock music. For example, I'm really into the, um, the new Inglorious album. Also other stuff like that, but also pop music, of course. No Sanremo. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sara, perché ti amo? <laughs> but this is, a, this is a, a very old one. Probably yeah. you know the, the new one. <laughs> no, uh, I stopped in the, in the, in the, in the 80s. <laughs> no, but the, the new Italian anthem is, the, is made by Maneskin. Okay. Sono fuori di testa. It's very famous over all Europe because they won also Eurovision. So, ah, okay. It's very, very, it's very famous nowadays. So um, you talked about uh, the, the new, uh, the, the first single uh, issued from this album, uh, Pure Life and Faults. Uh, um, did you went and uh, read the, uh, the fans' comments? Of course, of course. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, blah, 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 run away, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> that, <coughs> that's all I have so far, but I'm singing it over and over. <laughs> but the funny thing, I think it was it's this one, or it's a new one, but we received some messages, some comments about blah, blah, run away, blah, 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 nah, nah, hold me. <laughs> so we decided to, um, we decided to share a, a graphic, uh, a graphic pic with, uh, with this lyric and say, okay, you ask for the lyrics, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very funny. But also, for, I can talk for myself, the first time I, I heard the song, because This is one of the few tracks we wrote together, uh, Michele and me, and uh, I wrote the chorus, uh, sorry, I wrote the verse, I wrote the instrumental parts, but the chorus uh, was made by Michele, and the first time it was something in my mind like, na 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 pa 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 ra ba pa 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 ra ba so it's very funny, and a very strong melody, I really love this song. <laughs> Yeah, uh, another comment is uh, Virgin, uh, in Italian. Uh, mi aveva un po' deluso, uh, ma con okay. questo pezzo uh, sembrano ritornati allo stesso livello di quel capolavoro straordinario di album of Jupiter Sandmus, pezzo excellente, favoloso. So, Virgin, uh, <coughs> the, 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 um, the album of last year, 
she was uh, disappointed about this uh, album, but now uh, it seems that the uh, level has raised more than uh, uh, of Jupiter and Moons. So I, of course, everyone has uh, different feelings about albums, of course. Uh, I, I don't agree with this comment because for me, Viridian is a fantastic album. Yeah. Uh, probably one of my favorites until Diamante, but it's true, it's not a, it's not a cliche, but usually uh, as a musician, when you work so hard on a new album, you put your soul and your heart on it. So that's it. But I really love Viridian, but I prefer Diamante. <laughs> yeah. Another uh, fan's comment. I have a strong feeling that the new album will shine like a real diamond. Great job, guys. Shine like, like a diamond. <laughs> yes, I, I totally agree. I, I think it's a very strong album. Um, we have, for example, uh, we have two very long tracks seven minutes longer yeah. and um, we didn't do uh, long tracks until three three albums ago so it's uh sort of something like uh back to the roots for us but also of course with the um, the new temperance lineup and uh, i'm very satisfied about every song i really love every song and I, but the point is i can't wait to play this song live because uh, we are a uh, a tour band, a live band, so we need to go to come to come back on stage because uh, back then, before the COVID situation, I think we did 50, 60 shows every year, so we yeah. have to come back. Luckily, we have a lot of shows for the next year, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, this one, I love new Iron Maiden album, I want to say. It is album of the year, but now I know that I have to wait until November 19. <laughs> cool. Iron Man. <laughs> yes. And yeah. just, just to know, I, I heard the new Maiden album, and yeah. I think it's the best Maiden album um, of the last 10 or 15 years. Yeah. Yes. So, Especially uh, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce Dickinson. Temperance. Uh, yes. Temperance in their current lineup uh, is rapidly emerging as one of my favorite bands. Uh, cool. Very, uh, very cool. Very good but, to know. But a new lineup, uh, not very new. From uh, you are um, from three years, I think it's the same lineup, isn't it? Yes, yes, of course. But uh, we did we did three albums with another singer, another drummer. But after that. Um, with a chance, with a chance to to go on with another drummer, Alfonso, and we decide to to call Alessia Michele and create something new and something different because I think right now uh, there is not another band like like us with three melodic singers. Of of course, uh, there is Amaranth, uh, but they are a little bit different, more modern. And uh, they have an extreme vocals, and it's different. For us, the the, the very cool thing, in my opinion, is that uh, we trying to to do um, everything in three vocals. Not everything, because of course there is some verse or other parts did only by me or only by Michele or Alessia. But um, every chorus is made by three different vocals in complete harmonies, so it's very cool. Yeah, and this one, I'm, I'm in love with the guitarist's voice. Uh, that's a... <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, it's a man, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. thank you so much, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that's some talent and skills. <laughs> thank you. Good. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very cool to uh, read uh, some comments like, like this one, but also yeah. we are totally open-minded <clears throat> when we receive some criticals. Is okay. Is a part of the part of the game, part of the deal. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, how did you? Um, how can you make um, equilibrium from uh, the, the the three voices? How uh, how do you share? You know, uh, the song. How you say this is my part. This is Alessia's part. 
the, the good thing is there is no any sort of fight between us. So usually, uh, I, I don't know, I, I think uh, about a, a, a song for a new song. And in my mind, I have already the, the way to split the vocals. But uh, we are totally open mind. And in studio, we try different things. And maybe one verse is better made by Alessia or, or together with Michele or uh, all three together. So there, there is no rules at all. Yeah. Um... This band is magic, uh, never fails to amaze and uh, click my emotional and power metal love. So freaking great, seems they're just getting better and better awesome. I, amazing. And <laughs> yeah. I totally agree. I totally agree with him because it seem, seems like after many tours and many albums, we have a sort of alchemy. Yes, we have a sort of alchemy and it seems like uh, year after year, album after album uh, like a like a good wine we are uh, we are going better and better yeah and the, the last one the best symphonic power metal band of the <laughs> moment <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> Just uh, we remember this album, uh, Diamanti, uh, uh, on November via Napalm Records. Uh, tell me about the, uh, the cover. Uh, the cover uh, was made by our uh, good friend from France, Jan Sutre. Um, he, did, uh, he worked already with us for a couple of albums of Jupiter, Moons and Viridian. And, uh, we were in, in touch with him because... Uh, Especially Michele and me, uh, we are totally in love for Aerion, the the great band from Arian Lukassen. And um, Arian worked with uh, Jan Sutre for the cover art of The Source. Honestly, one of my favorite albums of the last years. Um, and that's it. I, I wrote a, a message to Jan and we decided to try to collaborate. And, uh, and he's a sort of genius for me because uh, he, he's able to, to create some amazing stuff in a few days, in a few weeks. Yeah. And um, the good thing about Diamanti is uh, we talk a lot about the, the way to show the Diamanti, the diamonds, because yeah. um, usually in the, in, in the mind of people is always something like uh, jewelry, something very expensive, something like that. Yeah. But uh, we decided to pay a tribute to a, a very famous artist called, uh, called Moebius. And uh, during the last, I think, 40 years, um, uh, he spent a lot of time on, the, on some different kind of arts using uh, a kind of diamonds. And of course, the Diamond Sota Coverato is inspired by Boy Moebius, this amazing guy from France. Yeah, and um, why have you uh, named this album Diamanti? Uh, it's, uh, it's another cool story because um, when I wrote the song Diamanti, um, an idea called, um, come to my mind and I said, okay, um, could be very cool. Uh, have you heard the song? No. No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. But uh, when you will uh, hear the song, you will figure out that the, the chorus is perfect in Italian. In my opinion, better than English because it's very musically, very, very Sanremo, of course. Very sad. <laughs> Maybe with this song, we will go in Sanremo. No, but uh, we tried and uh, the final result was very amazing. And... Uh, For this reason, we decided to do something very cool because on Spotify um, there will be um, other versions of the song in other language. So uh, you will find the French version, the English version, of course, the German version, very oh, yeah. hard for, uh, for Italian 
Italian people, and the Spanish version is very easy for us. Yeah. Now uh, we wait for the Tunisian version because now um, because you played uh, with Cartagots, you, we know uh, maybe you yes. have some words in in Tunisian. <laughs> But honestly, uh, I thought also to do a Arabic version. Yeah. But uh, it's very it's very difficult for us. So I don't know. Maybe when you we will come in Tunisia, we'll do something special. <laughs> I really hope to come back because I played only a couple of shows with Cartagots in Tunisia and it was crazy. Uh, you you was there? Yeah, of course I was there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was there for the shows in Tunisia and um, not only in Tunisia you played with, with Cartagots, you know. There's... No, no, of course, but I, I mean... Uh, that, that's okay, you. <laughs> now, yes, but now I, I'm more, I'm more healthy. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm joking. But uh, yes, we played, I think, uh, 10 or 12 shows yeah. overall, uh, overall Europe. But uh, I mean, in, in Tunisia, we, um, we played only a couple of shows together. Yes. Yeah. There's some, uh, some pictures with you, with, uh, with Cartagos. Yes. How did you make the, the connection with you and, uh, and Tarok and Dent? Honestly, I don't know because uh, I received a, a message from from Tarak, yeah. and uh, he asked me if uh, back then if uh, I was available to do some shows with them because uh, their singer was not uh, was not available. Yeah, and I said, uh, "Why not? Let's try." I don't know. Let's try and let's see. And after that, I think we did uh, yes, 12 shows in one year in Malta, in France, in Belgium in Latvia, I think, and in Tunisia, of course. And even, uh, I think, uh, a show in, in Romania, I think, on, uh, I don't know, it was... Ah, yes, uh, yes. On, yes. Yeah. <coughs> there was Tara, uh, with, there was Mehdi, uh, on Singer, but you, you made uh, an appearance, uh, I think, on, on, on one song or more. Uh, yes, we, we played a couple of songs together, yeah. yes, with the other singer, and we played, yes, uh, as opening gag for uh, Battle Beast, of course, but also Judas Priest. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. So uh, no, I think uh, it's okay. You're a Cartagots member, even. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was very funny. The the guys of of the band uh, was very kind with me. So and uh, I I followed the band a lot, and uh, I I saw that they're doing a lot of stuff. Also now for the, they release a new album. Probably they release a new album next year. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're working on it. Is it usual or unusual for you, Marco, to uh, to play uh, like that with uh, with bands, uh, other bands, than Temperance? Very, very usual. Yeah. Because uh, it's my it's my work. Yeah. So uh, I receive a lot of proposals. Not not every day, but every month I receive some proposal to do some stuff. But the thing is, uh, is a strange thing because, uh, of course. Uh, money talks, but for me, is a different thing. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of times, I receive a, a good proposal, but if the, if I don't like the music and I, I don't like the people, I, I don't want to do anything. So, um, it's a every, every time is a sort of experience, is a sort of uh, something new on your path. And for example, with Catacots, what was very cool. Uh, it was my first time in Tunisia. Yeah. I never been there. So it was very cool. I met a lot of crazy people there and uh, it was very fun. Yeah, you have to um, to organize it with uh, with Tarah, huh? a concert of uh, temperance oh, yes. in Tunisia. It will be great, yeah. 
Ah, yes. So we remember this is the actuality of Temperance, a new album, uh, Diamante. I saw that uh, there's um, a tour that's scheduled. Uh, is it uh, you're going on tour uh, in, in October? Uh, honestly, no one knows about October because we have uh, uh, three weeks of tour with Live Scythe, uh, 90% in Germany, but also in Czech Republic, Switzerland, uh, Belgium, and Netherlands. But no one knows what, what will happen because right now there are some restrictions, especially in Germany. So uh, honestly, I don't know. But on February and March, uh, we'll do two different tours with Taria, the, mm. um, the former singer of, of Nightwish. And um, in April, we will go again in Europe for a headliner tour. So it's... Yeah. We have we have to wait a little bit, so hopefully the October tour will happen. But uh, I still don't know anything. But of course, we have to wait until February, March, and April for a lot of shows. I think 40 shows. Yeah, it's frustrating the situation. A lot, uh, especially because we are releasing a new album, and uh, when you are uh, releasing a new album, you have to go on stage and you have to go on tour to promote the album. To, to show uh, your new um, daughters, to your new, new songs to the, to the fans, to the, to the friends all over the world. But of course, during the last year, it was not possible. So, yeah. But I'm a positive guy, so I think we'll... I don't know if the October 2 will happen, but for sure, the February 2 will happen. And how did you Hopefully. expect this, uh, this situation uh, from uh, last year to, to now? Not going on tour, uh, not. Mm, it it was it was the the good thing. It was that uh, I spent a lot of time uh, cook a lot of stuff. So I'm a good chef right now. No, I'm joking. But <laughs> be, better better than before. But uh, the good thing it was that uh, I wrote a lot of stuff also for other bands uh, because I'm also a producer, a songwriter. So I spent a lot of times to. To write music and music and music and uh, try to learn new skills and vocals and that's it and it was very fun very funny but now i have to i have to come back on stage <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah 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 hopefully this situation really will come to an end because uh, we want concerts <laughs> so but, uh, what, what is the situation right now in tunisia uh, we are making all the uh, the vaccine, and uh, okay. yeah, we have uh, it's better than uh, one month ago. So I think. Uh, okay. But I there is a sort of green pass also there, or not? It's going to be yeah, not yet, but okay. it's going to be yeah. It's it's cooking, it's scheduling, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, a green pass. I think it will be all over the world. Uh, uh, I think so. I think so. But uh, is uh, is already, of course, in Italy, but also in Austria, in, in Switzerland from from today. Yeah, in France. And, uh, in, France in France also. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see. But uh, <laughs> we will manage it, of course. Yeah. So I hope this uh, green pass in in Germany, so uh, the the concert can go. Uh, <laughs> Can get who, back, knows? Yeah. <laughs> who knows? I don't know because uh, the problem is about uh, the restriction. For example, mm, they have strictly restriction about the capacity of the club. Yeah. And uh, if we will play in a club for, I don't know, um, 500 people, but we have to play in front 100 people. Uh, it's, so for, for us, it's totally okay because after one year, 100 people is more than okay. But probably for the club, it's not good enough to cover the cost. Uh, so yeah. I'm very honest and I don't know about this thing. I don't know if it will happen or not, but in February, it will happen for sure. <laughs> Thank you.
And what about the metal scene in Italy? There's, uh, I don't see that there's uh, very much uh, um, concerts and uh, metal festivals. Uh, there's metal festivals, but uh, not like, uh, I don't know, in Germany or France or England, uh, not like uh, the other. But, yeah. but you mean right now? Yeah. Uh, right now, it's, uh, it's the same thing as Germany. We have um, several restrictions. So, for example, um, back then, I, I was in a club not so far from my place, 30 minutes from my place in Milano. Uh, a, small, a small venue for 300 people. Uh, but right now, uh, it's okay only for 100 people. Mm. So this is the reason there is not a lot of shows now. But uh, some festival uh, happened this summer. It's a sort of back to the reality. Um, I think for Italy, um, everything will come back as before the next year, not in the next month, I, I think. But still don't know. The, the vaccination is going good. I think more than 70% of the people has did the, the both shots. So they, they had a green pass, but who knows? No one knows. This is the point. Yeah. We know that there's uh, so many uh, good bands in Italy, like uh, La Cuna Coil, or like uh, lots, lots. Of but, also the, but also the young bands we have, um, I think is a, uh, it's not a trend, but it's a, Mm, a sort of new blood, very very good in Italy right now. Yeah. I I I'm not talking about Temperance, but of course, for example, do you know Frozen Crown? We have Calidia. We have um, the other band from the former former members of Temperance, Moonlight Days. So we have a lot of amazing bands, and I think step by step and year after year, we are uh, taking our our space in the in the metal scene. We are trying. <laughs> when you have a, a new album uh, like this one, um, what, is, what are the, the expectations? How did you uh, wait for November? Uh, uh, of course, for us, uh, we, we are still a young band. So we are trying album after album to reach more people, uh, not just to sell more copy, uh, but uh, just to reach more people and uh, to show the band to, to a lot of people, to a lot of fans, uh, to discover the band. And uh, I think also Viridian was a, an amazing album, but of course it was released uh, in a difficult time because we released Viridian at the end of January and uh, mm, less than two months later, the entire world was locked. Yeah. So and now with a new album, I think um, we, will, we will reach a lot of people, a lot of fans. And the good thing is... Uh, Seems like there is uh, an amazing feedback on this album. We receive a lot of messages from all over the world, comments, orders, of course. So seems like it will be a blast, hopefully. hopefully but I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure about this album. Hopefully. Thank you very much, Marco. Thank you, Karim. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to all people from Tunisia. Zanzana, the pronunciation is good? Yeah, very good. Okay. <laughs> thank you to, to everyone at Zanzana. And uh, hopefully see you in Tunisia. I, I don't think this year, but maybe next year. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> hope, hope, hope so, hope so, hope so. Thank you. Okay. Grazie, Marco. Ciao. Ciao. Zanzana, l'émission métal.